Hey everyone, I'm going to review my uh, first, well, not, this isn't really my first, it's like my first, like, combiner combiner. My first combiner was, uh, uh but yeah, um, also if you hear a humming noise in the background, we are currently having a heat wave in Canada, it is like 40 degrees. So I have my AC on, and if I don't, it will be like freaking. I'm not gonna say that. It's gonna be freaking hot in here, but yeah. Uh, so first up, I have the legs. I'm not doing individual robot modes because this is uh, a KO, and this thing actually isn't brittle. It was used before, so it's in good condition. But the separate robot modes, aside from this guy, and I probably have to say. Uh, Scrapper are, uh, aren't very good. Like, they're okay, but they're very, um, loose stuff. But, uh, yeah. I just showed you this thing. This thing stands on its own. That's, uh, interesting. I know. I don't know what that's doing there. Anyway, let's combine. I'm gonna do it uh, this way. There we go. Uh, okay, wait, what the heck? Okay, I think I'm messing with something. Oh. They never did that to me before. Oh, that's because it's not supposed to. I'm just, uh, I'm just kind of stupid. <laughs> it is not supposed to do that. Okay. Oops. Makes a lot of sense. <laughs> There, I got one leg, and uh, it uh, just doesn't stand so. I wonder if I can... Nah, it doesn't. But now for the next leg, I'm just gonna raise this real quickly. There we go. And same thing on the other leg. It. This one's a bit harder, but it's not like difficult. There we go. And I have the legs all done. And uh, my uncle's got me this as a graduation gift because I'm a graduating, graduating grade, grade uh, 12. Um, when I said 12, something came out of my mouth, but I'm not sure. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna need to raise this again. Okay. Uh. Alright. Now, for the top half of Devastator. My KO Devastator, but like I said, I don't mind it being a KO. As long as it works and it's not broken, I am okay. Okay, I'm gonna need to bring this, uh, bring this closer. You can still see in there. There we go. are the wrong way. Not sure. Yeah, they're... Yeah, these, uh... These are the wrong way. I changed, uh, farm this guy into long haul. And I forgot to turn them back. Uh, if I get the 86... 86 Constructicons, I'm just gonna keep them, uh... They're not bad looking. 
I'm just gonna keep them uh, apart and use this as my devastator. There we go. Oh. This might possibly be the biggest figure I've reviewed. Who have I reviewed who's bigger? Uh, I think the biggest thing I've reviewed, aside from this, is uh, Ultra Magnus. Did I review Transmetal 2 Megatron? I, I don't know. Uh, yeah, now it's time to get the arms on. Uh, I find that this one is easier to get on than this one. I mean, no, never mind. This one, this one is easier to get on than this one because this one has a shifter in it. There's a tab right here that you want to plug into here. Make sure to raise the arm so you can see. Uh, there we go. And no, I'm not combining that combiner, my hated one, because it's broken. And some pieces are missing. And I hate that thing so much. Now for the other arm. Man, I know something too. This thing is bigger than my siege ship fire, making this technically my second tallest figure. And it's a combiner, so that's good. I am definitely getting the legacy, uh, well, not legacy, the. What's the new line gonna be called? Prime, I think? The new, uh,. Prime Bruticus. That sounds so weird saying, but Could they've chosen like a better name than Prime, because I don't know. Oh, his one knee was bending. That's why he was uh, not balancing very well. Let's drop. Uh hmm. Okay. Uh Okay. Eh, I think we're good. Uh now time to attach the chest plate. Uh, this. And now, time for the head. And there is my uh, KO Combiner Wars undersized Devastator, which I'm actually not mad about. I like this size better than the uh, Titan one. Because, I mean, Titans should be Titans. Combiners should not be Titans. That just doesn't... That, that makes no sense. Also, this arm is a... Very tight. <laughs> oh, this arm got unplugged. Oh, 
Also, uh, I've seen MGO's video, and uh, this piece had tr had like knocked down, but uh, I don't have that problem. Thankfully, this uh, this whole figure actually fixed problems from the old thing. Like one, he doesn't have the bitch grip on his gun. But I'll get to that after, uh, after, um, his, uh, I forgot one step. There we go. After his, uh, what's it called? Articulation. So, arm can go like that. It can go all the way around on that squeaky hinge. Elbow. Like that. And full uh, first movement and his hand. I just realized I forgot to do the points, but I'll do a uh, picture of that after because <laughs> I don't want to re record the whole thing. But I guess you can save for the actual whole combination. It's about two, no, not a two, a, uh, a good or a 1.5. There are some uh, annoying bits, but. That's about it, really. Uh, same thing on this arm. And yes, I know this is, uh, oh, what's it called? The other way, but when it's like that, it's sticking out, and I kind of like it up, uh, more. And same movement on that hand, obviously, because it's like the exact same thing. Uh,. Waist swivel. That I would be able to do it, but there's a freaking dump truck, dump, freaking what's it called? I don't know what you call it. A uh, what do you call that? Well, whatever you call the uh, back thing of a dump truck that goes like that and. You can load stuff on it. The bed. The bed. Yeah, I'm pretty sure is that. I don't know. Uh, legs. You're activating long hauls. Uh, knee. Uh, they go up about that far. And the knees, like that. And, uh, you have ankle pivot, but on this side, for some reason, you get a uh, ratcheted one. Like, you can't hear it that well, but you can see, uh, my hand, like, shake it when I'm, uh, using that, because it's ratcheted. Uh, aside from that, the, uh, the head... No real movement aside from, uh, yeah. aside from that. Now, I don't have much size comparisons for him, but I'll, uh, I'll give a few. And, uh, here he is with a Voyager class figure, so he's about commander size, obviously, and here he is with, uh, Titan class arc, so about half the size of the arc. Maybe just a bit less, but uh, not bad. But, uh, fell. Uh, so for size, I'd give it a two. He's a good commander class uh, combiner, which I'm pretty sure is what uh, what's his name, Minister was. Um, but here's another problem aside from that. This, he had a terrible grip on his gun, and uh, for my uh, KO. Oh wait, let me get it in his hand first. Okay, what? There we go. Uh, yeah, no, like, no such problem exists. Like. That thing's in there, and it's in there good. 
please make jokes about that. But, uh, yeah. I would, I would recommend it. The only reason why I got this was because it was a gift. If I, uh, if I wasn't going to get it, then I would have obviously waited for the 86, but I wouldn't really deny a, a figure unless it's one that I absolutely hate, like a Shadow Striker and or something, but, oh, uh, yeah, that has been my review of the KO, I forgot what company this is, uh, Combiner Wars Devastator.